Welcome back for the midway point of season 22. We've got X7V who apparently just tied with noon. So we just tied with noon. Uh, we knew this was going to be a tough one coming in. I've got uh, uh, six fights this war, including a boss. And you've seen the thumbnail. Screw that guy. But first up, we got Killmonger on a node that he's usually on the next one. So I wanted to Kind of refresh myself here and i'm not running suicides and i went with lighter boosts kind of looking back on it, i think i should have just switched on suicides but this is her only fight so all i got to do is survive and you'll see i do make a a pretty critical error um so this node versus the next one gives him a big fury buff whenever i get a debuff on me so of course i'm gonna always have a debuff on me and here or not this one you'll see it's after the sp2 uh, I make the mistake of going for the second heavy, and that almost always certainly gets you wrecked. One, I thought I had it. Nope. SP1, huge, huge hits. Takes half my health right out the gate. The bleed is ticking. So now I'm down, and mad chip, chip damage. You saw that block hit was 3k right there. So I'm just trying to get my heavies off to keep my furies up, and I'm going to block it because I think it's stubborn, right? Yeah wrong i win the fight come to find out it's protect i uh, didn't realize it in the heat of the moment because i wasn't trying to dex uh, so kind of a weird thing their whole map was set up for uh for stubborn and yeah uh totally totally overlooked it in planning so it was protect so dexing and all that doesn't cause them to go indestructible so section two here, I just have this one fight. I was scheduled for backup, but once we figured out that it was in fact protect, people had already kind of moved up and uh, done done a few fights. So I'm gonna go uh, flame on torch here for this guy, and he is only a five star, thankfully, because otherwise I, I think this goes a little bit sideways for me. But it goes pretty well overall. I do go ahead and throw on uh, more, like I said, a light boost because Torch with a Mystic, or against a Mystic with Flame on, I mean, the damage is just, it's pretty nutty, <laughs> as you all have seen. So, the idea here for me is to um, have a special ready for the first encroaching stun, and then just kind of essentially play it by ear uh, after that and see how it goes. So off to a good start, and what's nice is I can dex his special, and I always want to dex his uh, special too. So you can see here, I'm kind of watching my timer more than anything. I'm, I'm slow playing, I'm slow playing. Alright, special one, good deal, don't get stunned. And I can dex this, and he takes the power sting, so that's sweet. He's halfway down, we're like 30 seconds in. Just want to keep this up. And here, I decide, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. Uh, his his health was a little bit high, maybe, to be uh, pushing it, and I just kind of went with a slow combo, let the uh, incinerates do their work, and finish with the SP1. So, nice clean, uh, nice clean victory. Coming up next, uh, this is the next morning. I'm gonna be taking four fights, including the boss. Well, it's three minis and a boss. So I'm gonna first note I got is a rage node. Um, I did some math on it. I can use the attack boost, and this is a long fight. Uh, Hulk's health and regeneration cannot be modified, increased, or decreased. So things like torches, flames, or incinerates, and despair don't work against this guy. So this is a four-minute fight. Um, I'm gonna end up cutting a lot of it out. So it's like I said, it's rage. I'm super comfortable with his animations uh, ideally i'm just going to bait sp1s uh, this guy is running max limber so it's it becomes increasingly hard um, for me to charge my heavy up to get the uh to get to 20 you know flame 20 temperature so that my incinerates last a lot longer so i'm going to skip ahead but this is basically how the fight goes you can see here i'm at 95 percent and uh we're going to jump ahead to the end Okay, I'm at 87%, <laughs> so I lost 8% health. I'm in this fight for four minutes, and I wasn't aware of it, but uh, the cav difficulty is what was giving him all the uh, gamma for regeneration. So right here, I'm expecting him to regenerate and go unblockable, which is part of why I threw on that invul boost, and he just dropped dead. 
so I was like, oh, okay, well, my health, you know, I made it look easy, but uh, it was just a, a long, grueling fight. But yeah, his SP2 is not, not bad at all, but if I could just keep it simple, his SP1 is so ranged uh, that I'll just do that. So Torch got his flame on back, and since I knew this would be the last fight, I was like, yeah, sweet. Uh, we'll definitely use it for, uh, for Sentinel here. Uh, that's all he's got going on. Uh, he's not stubborn, of course, because they run and protect. Uh, he's got the uh, power focus one and the unblockable SP one. And he's going to play super cooperative ball with me. Uh, I'm going to get up to uh, 20, 20 temperature. I think I do anyway. I might have I might have just uh, abandoned that and saw that uh, once I get him basically in the corner here, and I can, he just keeps coming at me. It's like, well, sure, man. Okay, so yeah, I do get to 20. Um, it just keeps him, keeps him pinned down, keeps him melting. I mean, he's not getting to, I don't even mind, you know, baiting the SP2. But he's just doing his thing and Torch's rotation, since it's just medium light, medium a lot of times, is not even giving him uh, his analysis charges. Uh, SP1, super easy to dex, easy to counter. I could have probably went ahead and thrown my SP3 here. I guess I was so used to holding it from last fight that uh, I was like, eh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hold it. Cause he is just dropping. I mean, every one of those, he's taking the power stings. The numbers are just ticking right away. Yeah, he, he's gonna drop in a, in a heartbeat here. Then next up we will have a Mephisto and I'm going to run a power start one boost with Void into him. Now one thing I didn't anticipate, this is actually kind of, I mean kind of tricky placement. Um, if he was, uh, well I guess if he was a bigger Mephisto I would have just, you know the fight would have went on just a little bit longer. So I'm going to throw in the big boost here and that will be for the uh, boss as well. And I'll throw on the power start one for Void since he's incinerate immune. And I, I do get lucky um, that my first my first uh, debuff ends up being a Petrify. So what it is is Aspect of Evolution, I think, um, that plays into effect with Mephisto here. Because even once I have Fear of the Void up and I even have a Petrify on him, uh, I want to say he's still gaining power. So like I said, it can be tricky. So the idea for me at first was just kind of slow play a little bit. So if I hit him, he won't proc incinerate, and of course he does on the second hit. But I get a petrify, so it slows it down. I was like, okay, cool. Uh, now I just gotta kind of bait some special ones. All right, go ahead and eat this one to the face, which kind of helps me out because it takes one of his uh, takes one of his souls away, soul charges, so he won't regenerate as much. Even though by that point. Um, I'll have everything up on him to stop his healing altogether. But you can see here, I've got two Petrifies. And he's he's still gaining power. And it's like, okay, well, that's to be expected. I'm all right with that. I know that it's slow, right? So I know that I've got time to uh, do what I need to do. Bait out these specials. And life will be all right. Just don't get hit by it, right? Well, you know me. <laughs> all right, so I got a Petrify up. And I get hit by the SP2. And so I've got Fear of the Void and a Petrify. And he's still slowly gaining power, which kind of concerned me a little bit at this point. I'm like, man, he's got the two bars. I've got a Petrify and Fear of the Void up. Like, when when do I actually stop the uh, power gain? I mean, I'm, I'm not even sure at this point if I, if I can. See, I've got two uh, Petrifies and Fear of the Void up. And he's, okay, he is finally, it looks like he's draining very, very slowly. Um, but he drops. Uh, so if I hadn't taken that special two to the face, Void would have been a lot healthier coming into this boss. But that's okay. You know how it goes. Throw a few potions in him. Uh, heal him up. I want to make sure that, uh, you know, I get healed up fast enough so that my uh, Power Star 1 boost is still active. I do have the Mr. Fantastic pre-fights already placed for me on the boss. So we're going to jump in here. I see I've got 40 seconds. I'm like, cool. Let me check this guy's signature ability. See what sig level he is. 40. It's like, all right. That's, uh, that's in my favor. It's like, let's go. So I did some duels, and I was going to refresh 
the Mr. Fantastic debuffs, if he threw a heavy, I was going to counter with my own heavy. But since he just threw a couple mediums, I was like, well, I'll just throw the special one, I guess, to get him up. So it started off a little different than what I had planned, but uh, it went good. Now I'm going to make a couple mistakes. I mean, besides getting killed, of course. Um, there was two different times where I thought I was going to get enough power on 13 rock stacks to throw my SP-1. And I was just shy, and I, you'll see me just stop. I'm like, oh, gosh, man. So I did that twice. Um, I don't know that I've ever done that before. So, yeah, it was frustrating. Um, it, it gets off to a pretty normal start. I don't think I've practiced protection uh, just yet. And it will, which is going to decrease my damage, which is unfortunate. you got to get an intercept, intercept off. See there, he's got one permanent stack, so it's going to decrease all damage, I think, by 30%. So that's not good. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, cool. Went ahead and finished that combo. So yeah, I ha I ideally, I have to get off an intercept at some point here, or else my damage is going to be permanently reduced, and it's going to make this fight that much longer. And I just procced it again, so now I'm, you know, it's down like 60%, and that's not good. Right there. <laughs> you see me freeze up because I tried to throw my special one, but I didn't have enough power. I was like, okay, well, I'll just intercept him with it. All good. So, I'm not quite outpacing uh, the damage like I'd like to be. Damage to me versus damage to him. But here I get the intercept off, remove those protection, and I tried to throw the special. Didn't have enough power. It's like, okay, this is fine. I'll dex the special one. So, yeah, I'm at 52. He's at about 60. So he's starting to drop, and I'm, I'm getting back in the rhythm of things here. I probably should have went right in right there to try to push him back, but I kind of didn't. All right, SP1. Now this is, uh, this is where it goes sideways. I feel like I've got enough distance in fight. I'm like, okay, and no. That's not, that's not enough uh, distance there, Manny. Taste my b-hole. Ugh. Made me sick, man. Like, fight's going good. Got all my buffs and debuffs ramped up. I dash back. I'm like, yeah, I've got enough space here to, you know, outrange it. And sure enough, he drops a 30k heavy on me. And kills me. Uh, so, revive up. Uh, since I'm boosted and I think I'm the only void here. And then this attempt, pretty early on, I was feeling like I was getting ready to give a second death. Which would have sucked, because then we probably would have gave a third since nobody had a really solid option for this. We might have thrown a... I think we had an Omega that could have went in. So, yeah. No Power Start 1, no Mr. Fantastic Pre-Fights. Just raw void right out the gate. Let's do it again. So here... Good start. Bait the Special 1. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is where I got sideways. Sorry. Um, I Yeah, he threw the special when I didn't want him to. And it's like, dude, now I've got to hit into his block so many times. And I was like, back up, dude. Back up. And I can see my corner coming. Thankfully, he backs up right there for me or else I was going to be in, yeah, real trouble. I mean, real trouble. I might not have even done 10% on this attempt if uh, if he went ahead and pushed me back. All right, turtle up. Nice, get my debuffs rolling. So here, once I started to kind of get control of the map again, I, I mean, I'm, I don't have any control yet. I'm, of course, backed up, but he's got low rock stacks. I'm playing aggressive enough to kind of main, you know, get a little bit of control. I don't feel great yet, trust me. I hate playing with my back against the wall against thing, for sure. All right, here, boom, he gave me the opportunity. And I, I took it. So I got a few, uh, few hits in on his block to push him back. I got to get my spacing back. And now is when I actually felt like, okay, like this is, this is back under control. I'm still kind of pushed to my side, but uh, I'm comfortable with it. I'm not right up against the wall. I mean, I was right there, of course, but... Not dexing attacks and stuff right up against the wall. He's pushing me back. I'm pushing him. Three, two, one. He is going to drop. So I gave up the one death. 
it was unfortunate, but as a BG, we played great. And two deaths in our uh, BG, five in the whole alliance. At this point, we were really, really close. Um, it was three to five, but we were done. We we had finished the whole map with 150, you know, 150 kills, three, uh, five deaths. They were at, I think, like 88 kills and only three deaths. So we put the pressure on them to... Uh, to perform and thankfully some of our tougher defenders eked it out and by the time they got to six they knew it was over and the deaths kind of compounded after that because why waste boost and whatnot in a losing effort so good war to the guys over at x7v another great war for four loki and we will see you in the next one subscribe and like take care